Thank you for watching. We're in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, starting with verse 21. Art thou called being a servant? Care not for it. But if thou mayest be free, use it rather for he that is called and the Lord being a servant is the Lord's free man. Likewise also he that is called being free is Christ's servant. Ye are bought with a price. Be not ye the servants of men. I'd like to bring you a short little devotion on what I call the zero, zero line. And what I have before me here, I did a little drawing of Africa. Africa is the only continent on the globe that's shaped like a heart. And also in Africa, the law was given to Mount Sinai. The Ten Commandments of Law was given to Mount Sinai. And the Bible says in Romans chapter 1 and verse 15, which show the work of the law written in their hearts. You actually have the law written in your heart. And the Bible says the law is a schoolmaster to bring you to Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And then in verse 10, it says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works. We are saved to do good works. We are saved for servitude. We are bought with a price. We're saved for servitude. And I'd like to put on this nation of Africa, this continent of Africa, I like to put the zero degrees longitude, okay? This line represents zero degrees longitude. This line goes through uh, England, by the way. It goes through Hampton, England, by the way. And the King James Bible came from the zero degrees longitude line, okay? It represents truth, okay? Now I like to put the zero degrees latitude, okay? The zero degrees latitude represents spirit or servitude. The Bible says in John 4, verse 24, God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Okay? The Bible says in Galatians 5, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. We're supposed to walk spiritually. It's servitude. That's what it's all about. So this is a zero, zero line. Zero, zero. Where it crisscrosses right here is right outside the coastline of Ghana, in Nigeria, Africa. Uh, back in history, this was kind of like a gateway for servitude. And the Jews, by the way, the Jews were in captivity in the land of Ham, in Egypt, in Africa, for approximately 400 years there. This was after, this was around, you know, it ended around 1500 B.C., okay? At that time, they crossed the uh, Red Sea. They received the law at Mount Sinai. Uh, they had the wilderness wanderings for, 400, uh, for uh, 40 years, and then they head north, go east of uh, the Dead Sea. They're in the Moabite area. And they cross the River Jordan. And then they enter the Promised Land, okay? That's where they enter the Promised Land. Now we're going to mirror to the other side of Calvary. We're going to fast forward to 1500 A.D., okay? 1500 A.D. represents the Philadelphia Church, okay? And the church history, the first three chapters of Revelation, there's seven churches. Only one, only one church in, that, in church history kept the Word of God, and that was Philadelphia. But that's another study in itself. And it begins about 1500 A.D. It's the beginning of the Industrial Revolution and other advances in humanity. The uh, Ham, this time, Ham goes in captivity for 400 years. Okay, Back before 1500 uh, B.C., the Jews are in captivity. Shem's in captivity for almost approximately 400 years. Okay, Mirror over to Philadelphia, 1500 A.D., Ham is in captivity for almost 400 years, okay? Now, 430 years after Philadelphia begins, this is the time when Hitler's in power, and what does Hitler do? He has this big genocide, and he kills off all these Jews. He kills off Shem. Well, what happens after that? You're fast-forwarding up to the 1940s now. What happens then? Well, at this time, at this time, you got those Jews going back into the Promised Land, just like... What happened in the Old Testament, you know, 1500 uh, B.C. versus 1500 A.D.? It's kind of like mirror, it's mirroring and over into the church age. What happened back around 1500 B.C. mirrors over to 1500 A.D. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. Uh, this has been a short little devotion on servitude. The Bible says you're bought with a price. You're not your own. That zero, zero line there that comes over Africa... It represents spirit, and it represents truth. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been a blessing to you.